Hey guys, welcome to our Easter edition prep vlog for you. Wanted to show you some of the behind the scenes footage of what it takes to get Easter going. First, I want to show you all the prep work. This place looks atrocious purely because we're getting everything ready. We've got kids stuff happening this Sunday and come and have a look here. We've got um, all of our communion cups. No, that's that's the, not it. That's for the Easter egg hunt. That's for the Easter egg hunt because there's an Easter egg hunt happening this weekend. I think this is communion cups. Yes, Am I right? Uh, this is communion cups. I don't even know how to break into communion. Like, I'd make a terrible thief. Um, anyway. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here. We got, so getting all of these ready for the weekend because over Easter, especially Good Friday, we like to take up communion. And so Lara's got all of that sorted, the Easter egg hunt that's happening this weekend. And I got to show you all these eggs that we got going on. Um, again, excuse all the stuff around here, but we have packed about 200 Easter parcels for all the kids that are coming this weekend with a happy Easter. Uh, so all of these bags were individually cut, strings cut, tags printed and cut, filled with eggs, which our church, thank you Revive Church, have like just been so generous in sponsoring. And so we've got these additional eggs as well. Why we like to keep additional eggs is so that we can be over the top generous. So we, our Easter Bunny can walk around and hand eggs out just to anybody just because they are at church. Or the other reason is if there's more kids that come, we, don't, we would hate for kids to come to Easter expecting an Easter egg hunt and then leave with nothing. So we always make sure we've got a little bit extra. It always goes out. But maybe you can, Dumi, maybe you can show you. We've got all these boxes full of Easter packs. So I think on the inside, Dumi, am I right? On the inside there is a lollipop six Easter eggs and a, and a couple of other sweets as well. All right, so it's really phenomenal. And all of these eggs have actually been given, donated by our by members in our church, in Revive Church. And why do we do this? Because we want to be generous in our community. We want to respond to the generosity of God that He so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son to not to condemn the world, but to save the world. And so we want to respond in generosity towards our community to say, hey, welcome. The doors are wide open. Come and join us at Easter. And we want to be generous to say kids are going to have a fantastic time. We're having a picnic. We had a picnic. as We're going to do a picnic as well um, for connection, for people to have loads of time and, and inflatables and all that kind of stuff. And why do we do this? Yes, it's to be generous. But and Easter is a big event in our calendar because it's an opportunity that we can shine a massive light on the gospel, a massive light on the fact that Jesus so loved us that he took our sin upon himself on the cross. He died on the cross for our sin um, to, so that we may be forgiven of our sin. And then we, and then on the fact that he was risen again, you see, if Jesus stayed in the tomb, he would not have been Lord. He would have died. But as it says in the New Testament, that if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, then we are still in our sin and we are most of all to be pitied. But he did rise. The tomb was empty. He, the tomb was open. It was empty so that we could come in and see that his body is no longer there. And he revealed himself to his disciples and to so many other people in that generation and in that time. And it's a historical moment. So we shine a light. We make much out of Easter because Jesus did something so profound for us. And that's really why we want to make sure that Easter is celebrated, is big, and that we're generous. And I've got my son trying to get into a video here. Can you yeah, believe it? Yeah. He's like trying to be sneaky I'm and trying, cheeky. I'm trying to get past the couch. I'm trying to get yeah. past the couch. But yeah, we really, we just, you know what? We, we do this so that we can make much of the story of Jesus. And it's not that this is the most important weekend of the year because of Easter we can follow Jesus every day of the year but it's just an opportunity for us to say hey he is alive he is risen and you and I can be forgiven of our sins if we will put our faith and trust in him because you know what he can actually make the payment his check does not bounce 
we are forgiven and set free. And so hope you enjoyed this pre-Easter edition. Hopefully we'll get some footage in there so you can see what Easter was like. God bless you. Have a great day.